Five years ago, single mom Chelsea Small picked up a shift at the Advance America check cashing shop in Taylor. And right around lunchtime, a man came in showing no emotion, shot her and stole a bank bag. Her killer remains unknown and the case has gone cold. But now Taylor PD has some new information. Our Jason Colthorpe explains where it came from. We got a police report through a FOIA. We went from parking tickets, to crash reports, really looking at anything that would tie the two crimes together. Dakota Bostic became very familiar with the Chelsea Small case when he was an intern at the Taylor Police Department. When his suggestion became the criminal investigations class project at Concordia University, he was invested. Once we got like a live case and we're doing actual police work, you know, from the classroom, everybody was on board, excited. What does this person look like? What's the elements of the crime that we discovered? Frank Rubino teaches the class and Dan Klebus runs the program. Both are former cops and know how valuable fresh eyes can be on a case with a lot of dead ends. So it was a cold case and they go cold for a reason. So we were able to get to certain spots and then we were stuck. We used a lot of technology, um, social media, trying to look for people that look similar to the suspect. And they dug and they dug hard and they uncovered some information that uh, is uh, is interesting. You rely on luck a little bit and another student, I forget what he googled, but he actually found another crime that involves suppressors and, uh, and uh, guns. So we looked into that and that was that was where the hot lead came from. Stole a suppressor that matched the caliber used in the in the crime in Taylor. In the end, this was more than just a grade or great hands on experience. It was the chance to help a real grieving family desperate to solve a loved one's murder. The reason I'm getting into police work is to help people. So there's definitely a drive to solve this and put that man to justice and help out the family. Yeah, we didn't want to touch too much on the specific information that the class uncovered because Taylor detectives still need to investigate it. Dakota, for one, is very anxious to see if it does lead to something. And it goes without saying, guys, if you know anything out there about the Chelsea small case called the Taylor Police Department. But I'm wondering, they did this without telling the police department. How right. did that go over once it was presented? Kind of the way you might think when you they first presented it, it was kind of a little, what are you guys up to here? Yeah. And then as they saw how they worked the case and what they presented, I think they came around a little bit and now they've even alerted the family and they're looking into this. Yeah, let's All hope right. it shakes it loose. Yeah. yeah. All right, Jason. Thanks,